In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this beautiful gift of time that you've given each one of us. We thank you for everyone, Lord, who has gathered here. It is not by chance, but by choice we are here. To know you, to seek you, to have an intimate personal relationship with you, Lord Jesus. Every word, every scripture, every promise is so meaningful. Every promise has a hidden mystery, which is going to be unraveled with the help of your Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for being such an amazing teacher, such an amazing guide, leading us into all truths. Because you love us. And you want us to live the life that Jesus wanted us to live. Holy Spirit, take complete authority of this entire Zoom session. Take complete authority of our minds and our vocal cords so that let every word that is spoken over here be of yours and nothing of ours, Lord. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, uh, just give me a moment. I'll just come. <clears throat> Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So today I was asking the Holy Spirit, you know, before the session, Holy Spirit, what topic do I take on? So that is the time, you know, Holy Spirit told me about, teach on this topic of Jesus and Zacchaeus. So Brother Dylan and Sister Consuela, I'm pretty sure you all know about Zacchaeus, right? Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes. <laughs> so what was he famous for? What was his story? He was a tax collector. Yes, he was a tax collector. And what did he do? He, he, used to, he used to steal money. Yes. And everyone knows, you know, what he's famous for. Climbing on that sycamore tree. Thank you, Jesus. So let's learn on that. Praise God. I'll just share my screen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Uh, Sister Consuela, you can read it. Then Jesus entered and walked through Jericho. There was a man there, his name Zacchaeus, the head tax man and quite rich. He wanted desperately to see Jesus. But the crowd was in his way. He was a short man and couldn't see over the crowd. So he ran on ahead and climbed up in a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus when he came by. When Jesus got to the tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. Zacchaeus scrambled out of the tree, hardly believing his good luck, delighted to take Jesus home with him. Everyone who saw the incident was indignant and grumped. What business does he have getting cozy with this crook? Zacchaeus just stood there, a little stunned. He stammered apologetically, Master, I give away half my income to the poor. And if I'm caught cheating, I pay four times the damages. Jesus said, today is salvation day in this home. Here he is, 
Zacchaeus, son of Abraham, for the son of man came to find and restore the lost. Praise God. Thank you, Sister Consuela, for reading it. So I took this, uh, you know, translation of message because I really like the way the, you know, it's put in here. Thank you, Jesus. So now Jesus entered and he was walking through Jericho. And there a man was there. His name was Zacchaeus. And as Brother Dylan said, he was a tax collector and he was quite rich. But there was something here. He wanted desperately to see Jesus. But the crowd was in his way. Okay. So here we see a man. A man who was in, uh, you know, possessed with the spirit of mammon, as we were learning in yesterday's youth session, okay? Who was attracted to money, becoming rich, having the luxuries of this world. And what happens? Now, wherever Jesus went, he carried the presence of God with him. He had the anointing of the Holy Spirit upon him. And that is why wherever he went, there was signs and wonders, there was deliverances, there was healing, and so many things. So that's what happened here. Because here, I never see Jesus going and correcting Zacchaeus even once. That's what happens, you know, when you carry the presence of God with you. You don't have to speak a word. But the presence, the anointing is so strong that it will attract people towards you. Because you're carrying the very presence of God. Thank you, Jesus. So Zacchaeus was desperate to see Jesus. But as usual, a huge crowd will be gathered around Jesus. And he couldn't see him because he was a short man. But he was not willing to give up. Look at his, you know, persistence. So he ran on ahead and climbed up in a sycamore tree so that he could see Jesus when he came by. Now, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Has anyone tried climbing a tree? Yes. No, I haven't. Is it easy, Brother no. Dylan? Not at all, no? Like, I would think, like, I was just telling, thinking about it, okay? I was like, if I was in Zacchaeus' place and if I had to take a step of climbing a tree, I would think about myself. What if I fall down? What if I break my back? What if I break my bones? Isn't that the thought that comes? Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. That fear comes. Huh? Yeah. Sorry, brother. Sorry, uh, Sister Consuela. You said Consuela, something. That, that fear comes of what can happen if I do it. Yeah, yeah, right. Exactly. Same thing. Yeah. Now, Zacchaeus could have also had thoughts like that. But that didn't stop him from climbing the tree. He made up his mind. He had one goal, one focus. Today, somehow, Jesus is coming to Jericho. I want to see him. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. I'll just um, share my screen. Yeah. So he ran and climbed up in a sycamore tree so he could see Jesus when he came by. And when Jesus got to the tree, he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. Thank you, Jesus. See, this is the love of Jesus, you know. Like, honestly, if you ask me, now when I read the scripture, you know, I feel that Jesus went to Jericho only for Zacchaeus. How many of you all feel that too? I do. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Exactly. Why? Because he got to the tree and he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. Zacchaeus scrambled out of the tree. 
hardly believing his good luck delighting to take jesus home with him and it's like scrambled as in he just didn't think he just jumped from the tree you know because he was so happy he was so shocked in a good way and he was delighted to take jesus home imagine you know uh, put put it this way that one person or that one friend you know you're longing to meet that person and that person says hey listen come let's go for a dinner let's you know hang out together wouldn't you all be excited thank you jesus yes so the same thing happened here and zacchaeus was very excited he was so happy thank you jesus now i still have you know had this question now what would have been the reason why zacchaeus was so eager to meet jesus anybody anything comes to your mind um could it be because he he could he must have heard from other people what the uh, glory he has been doing through miracles healing yes yes that is one reason very good thank you jesus okay so another thought you know another revelation that came to my mind is who is jesus what is the love of jesus all about so let's go to the book of corinthians chapter 13 thank you jesus okay uh so any of you all can read this scripture praise god if i speak god's word with power revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day and if i have faith that says to a mountain jump and it jumps but i don't love i'm nothing Praise if god. i give yeah one god. second i'll uh, discuss on this then we can go ahead so this scripture says if i speak god's word with power revealing all his mysteries and making everything plain as day and if i have faith that says to a mountain jump and it jumps but if i don't love i'm nothing it's a very powerful scripture thank you jesus now did jesus preach was he speaking revealing the mysteries day and night to people around yes yes was he having the faith that could raise people from the dead that could bring people who were you know sick for many years mm-hmm. get healing Yes. he had all these things so far zacchaeus had heard all these things as sister consuela rightly said the glory of god the first part of the scripture talks about the glory of god but you know many a times being in the word applying the word of god in our lives we took and experienced such things but the last part if we miss that we miss it all but i don't love i am nothing that means more than faith the greatest is love and not the world kind of love but the godly unconditional agape love of god thank you jesus praise god okay so yes as sister consuela said rightly Zacchaeus wanted to see Jesus for the glory for all the things that he had heard about till now but what changed you know thank you Jesus let's go back to Luke chapter 19 praise god yes. now this part that says Jesus got to the tree 
he looked up and said, Zacchaeus, hurry down. Today is my day to be a guest in your home. You know, this was something that, that really got Zacchaeus, you know. Jesus won Zacchaeus' heart because Jesus was love, unconditional love, the love that forgives. Because down here, you can see, everyone who saw the incident, they were indignant. So they were not very happy about this. They're like, why is of all the people, there are so many people who are deserving, you know, with whom Jesus should ideally go and sit and have a dinner. Why is he choosing this man? This man who's doing so many wrong things. You know, when you experience that love, when you, you know, personally come to that point where you see that you have not done anything worthy of the love of God. And yet there is somebody, there is a God who loves you and his name is Jesus. That's when your heart starts melting. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in my life, um, I'll tell you, two years back, I was, uh, it was lockdown and obviously there was nothing much. I was just having depression and I was just sitting and I was listening to um, Papa's one teaching, okay? And in that particular teaching, he was discussing on 1 Corinthians chapter 13 that says about agape love. And he took all the qualities of that. The agape love is patient. Agape love is kind. Love does not insist its own ways. Love does not keep a record of wrongdoings. Love never fails. So all that, you know, when he was speaking, the spirit of the Lord was speaking to me personally. Because, you know, till that point, I was feeling that, you know, I'm right. This is with my relationships, with my family with my friends, I was feeling I'm right. They are not understanding. Why are they not able to see from my point of view? Okay. But when I heard that teaching, I experienced God speak to me personally through that. And in that, he was telling me, he was showing me what, what is the God kind of love. Thank you, Jesus. So um, let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 again. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Okay. Yes, sister, you can read. If I give everything I own, to the poor and even go to the stake to be burned as a martyr, but I don't love, I've gotten nowhere. So no matter what I say, what I believe and what I do, I'm bankrupt without love. Love never gives up. Love cares more for others than for self. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. Love doesn't strut, doesn't have a swelled head, doesn't force itself on others, isn't always me first, doesn't fly off the handle, doesn't keep score of the sins of others, doesn't revel when others grovel, takes pleasure in the flowering of truth, puts up with anything, trusts God always, always looks for the best, never looks back, but keeps going to the end. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. So this particular, you know, verse spoke to me very intimately. What is the God kind of love? What is the love that is going to bring a transformation, which is going to bring a change in our relationships with others? 
and god said to me you know i was very teary eyed i started crying because listening to that because it was like a revelation for me all this while i'm thinking you know i am right others are wrong but when you start studying the word and the word of god speaks to you speaks back to you you start realizing how much you are not worthy but how much god loves you and then you start seeking correction for that mistake the word of god is to for us for correction the holy spirit when he comes and convicts us it is not his idea for us to get into guilt and condemnation it is his idea for us to get up from the place where we have fallen from that mistake we have committed and get back to jesus make the correction and not go back into that again praise god thank you jesus so today if you know you all have done something that you feel you shouldn't have done no problem don't have to feel guilty about it all you got to do is repent and repentance is nothing but change of your thinking don't try to change your action without changing your thinking because your action will cover up only for a day or two but your thinking is still going to be the same so when your thinking is changed by default your action will change praise god thank you jesus so this love is about being god centered about putting others first it's about being patient it's about being kind it's about thinking of others and even if somebody has done wrong to you it's about neglecting all the wrong things yes you may have memories of you know what somebody did this thing to you and praise god god is so good you know i was just uh, reflecting as i was thinking on this topic um you know i was just reflecting of a few incidents in my life where i experienced situations where i was treated badly and i was very offended because of that and i was very upset and i really wanted to give back the pressure was so much yes in my heart condition i got offended but praise god as i kept meditating on the scripture i you know i decided to submit to god i said no for the love of jesus i'm not going to open my mouth and give back i'm going to you know pray for that person thank you jesus and today you know as i was quietly meditating on this the lord reminded me of the script of that incident and he said see if you would have taken uh, you know a decision in the flesh of giving back or something bad would you get chances would you get an opportunity to sow seeds of love in that person's life thank you jesus and that spoke very strongly to me praise god so of all the things you know even if you don't know the bible if you know love you know god and this love is not the human love but this is selfless unconditional love of god praise god thank you jesus so let's go back to um luke chapter 19 so that is where zacchaeus started i mean sorry jesus started sowing good seeds in zacchaeus's life and zacchaeus was so touched he stood there a little stunned he stammered apologetically now did jesus tell him to change no he didn't but zacchaeus at that moment experienced so much of love of god the love from jesus that he started feeling bad about what he was doing about the wrong things and he made a decision to repent and he said master i give away half my income to the poor 
and if i am caught cheating that means if i had cheated somebody i'm going to pay that person four times of what i had cheated that person for and praise god what does jesus say today is salvation day in this house here he is zacchaeus son of abraham for the son of man came to find and restore the lost thank you jesus you know i like the way jesus addresses zacchaeus here zacchaeus has a whole list of mistakes he has done but jesus never takes up his past because love never keeps a record of wrong doings and he addresses zacchaeus as the son of abraham that's what jesus calls us adopted children of god no matter what mistakes you did and if the devil is putting thoughts hey you did this hey you did that tell the devil jesus calls me the beloved child of god i am what my god calls me not what you are trying to convince me to believe devil so get out of my mind right now thank you jesus for the son of man came to find and restore the lost that is the love of god jesus wants to bring people who are lost who are broken that is exactly what i felt 2 years back and i'm still in that process still in that oh that what kind of an amazing god we have who loves us so much praise god thank you jesus okay so with this i'll um stop for today does anybody want to add something or ask something or any testimonies you all are free to unmute sister consuela yes sister anything you'd like to add or any testimonies come to your mind um this um i put it in it's a revelation like uh like scripture also says that you know god is love like he's the embodiment of love so before when i was reading 1 corinthians the uh, chapter 13 and that paragraph where it says what love is that never fails it's patient it's kind and uh, i was like god is love so it's like i can replace god in that paragraph where love is and then it becomes that god never fails god is patient god is kind and when i put it in that way i was like wow that is amazing that you know god equals love so in that paragraph when i put god in that place it's like i can make myself remember what god is what does he what like what is god to me so yeah that is one thing praise god it's so beautiful thank you jesus sian would you like to add something here Uh, no prayer praise god praise god thank you jesus all right so with this if there's nothing more to add or you know any testimonies to share then we can end today's session but before that we will pray today for those people who are suffering who are suffering from abandonment who are suffering from rejection who feel that they have nobody when in the truth is that jesus loves them and he is just waiting for them so that they can see him they can know him praise god lord jesus we thank you for this beautiful opportunity and all these lovely people who have gathered here lord we come in agreement and 
intercede especially for those people who feel they are rejected who feel they are lost who feel they are abandoned lord let the light of the gospel shine in their minds so that their minds which are blinded by the lies of the devil that stronghold is broken right now in jesus' name lord help them to see you see you in the actions of your disciples help them to see you through your written word we make this prayer in jesus' name amen let's intercede in tongues for 2 minutes shikalara barasyandara shikere kere 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 shandara kara 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 halara bakarasyandere kere 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 shidara bakarasyandere kere 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 labakarasyandara shandara bara 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 halara bakarasyandere bere bere thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hara bara bara syandara bara shikere kere 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 thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah praise god okay with this we will end today's session sister consuela would you like to make the closing prayer today yeah in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit thank you heavenly father for this wonderful teaching that you've given us thank you for speaking to our hearts for teaching us how much you love us how much you love us that you are able to ignore the mistakes the sins that we have committed in the past and the present and in the future for you are the same yesterday today and forever we thank you lord for loving us unconditionally Oh Lord, help us be a light to the people in our lives, so that by the imitation of Your love, that we show to others with the unconditional love that they experience from us, may change their hearts and experience Your love. that you can give them that can fulfill their hearts like nothing in this world ever can we thank you lord we praise you lord we make this prayer in the mighty name of jesus amen amen thank you sister consuela that was a very beautiful closing prayer thank you all for joining in see you all tomorrow bye